Hi guys, welcome back to Daniela's World and today I'm going to be making top ramen soup. So some people usually make it by just boiling it in water and adding the packet. But today I'm going to make it a little different. So you want to see how I make my ramen soup? Keep watching. Pimento, garlic and parsley. One pack of ramen noodles. Some frozen, some frozen vegetables. Some soya sauce, some ketchup, and you need to have water in the bottle with a spoon. So let's begin. So now that it is boiling, you're just going to you're going to press the spoon around the pot to just feel for the texture of the macaroni. We're gonna take our container that we have with our seasoning and we're going to add it to the mixture. Okay, so with the soy sauce, there are two types of soy sauce. There's the dark soy sauce and there's the light soy sauce. The dark soy sauce is used to get color when the lighter soy sauce is used for salt, for the taste. So we're gonna add a little to this. Right. We're gonna stir that in. You can see the color. How the color has changed. So we're gonna lower the heat to medium. Now what we put on a low heat. Right. We're gonna add some ketchup. Um, some hot sauce. And then we're just gonna mix them in. We're going to put the heat back on to medium. You need to taste it to make sure to see if you need anything else. You're going to blow it and see if it is salted enough for you, or if you prefer it to be sweet, you can add sugar. Right, so I only thing I find is missing, I think it needs a little more pepper, um, hot sauce. Usually I use cayenne pepper, but I decided to try it with pepper sauce today instead of cayenne pepper. If you want your soup to stay clear you don't need to add the soy sauce and if you prefer your soup lighter you just add less soy sauce but just remember it is the dark soy sauce and not the regular soy sauce okay so now i just put the soup into a bowl and ready to eat it so to eat it you're going to need two things if you eat soup like the spoon you can just need a spoon but if you eat with chopsticks you need your chopsticks and you need a spoon for the sauce 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video on how I make my ramen paksuk. And if you make it but in a different way, you can comment it down below um, what you do differently if you do it the regular way. And um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Enjoy your day, guys.